Excuse me. No licking plates, please. This is one that's going to make the whole family happy. <laughs> For me, so many memories are from my parents' dinner table. Nostalgia on a plate. Now that my family is growing, we're creating our own memories. I wanted to bring together some of my best recipes and do an entire show based on family food. Whether you're just in the door, planning a family get together, or just need to get everyone fed. This series is all about making easy meals that work for your family so you can create your own memories around the dinner table. Everyone thinks of the classics when it comes to the big roast, but there is a world of alternatives out there beyond chicken or beef. The Sunday roast kind of has nostalgia attached to it. It's not just something you've cooked. It's something that kind of is a time honored tradition. And from the meals I grew up with to the meals that I now cook on a Sunday for my family, you know, it's part of a tradition. And that's a really important thing when it comes to family food. Coming up, I have four big roast recipes for those special family meals. First off, I have an amazing roast vegetable curry that just simply tastes amazing. Then it's a dessert that needs no introduction. It's sticky toffee pudding. An Asian-inspired pork dish that's fun for everyone called yuk sung. And last up, it's a dish that my mum has made for years. And it's one of my favorites. Roast chicken and roast spuds that are so, so good. Pretty sure my mum would be happy with those. I was introduced to this recipe kind of by way of my pal uh, Susan Jane White, who's a great food writer, um, and she roasts her vegetables before she makes a curry out of them. And it's a really genius little tip because, like I said, it, it intensifies the veggies. It makes them more flavorful. And then when you pair that with a really rich curry sauce, you've got a roast with a bit of a difference. And I promise you, you land this to the dinner table, and people will be wondering, they'll be asking you, what is that little thing you did to make the difference here? And it's simple, it's just roast and veggies. Now as vegetable curries go, this one is a humdinger and the beauty of it is that it's super adaptable. I'm using cauliflower here, but it is pretty much adaptable with whatever veggies you have to hand. Any hearty veggies that you can roast in the oven, you can use in this curry. Break off the stalks. And it's just a case of taking off that kind of rough end and then slicing this into steaks. The more opportunity there is for the heat to get at the edges of these and to char up, the better the flavor you're gonna get left with. Good glug of oil. To this, a bit of spice. I've got some turmeric, I've got some coriander seeds, and I've got some curry powder. Now, I only need the curry powder for the cauliflower and the rest are for the curry sauce. So just sprinkle a bit of that curry powder all over the top. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then it's just a case of getting your hands in there and giving it all a good mush up. This completely transforms it. It adds smoky flavor. It adds that kind of gorgeous charredness you get from any brassica you roast in the oven. Now I have an oven preheated at about 200 degrees Celsius and these are gonna roast off for about 40 to 45 minutes just until they're kind of charred on the outside and nice and tender on the inside. 